So this is the Richmond Shakespeare Festival. We're in our second season, and our mission is to bring theatrical entertainment of the highest quality to Richmond, Indiana, in order to elevate Richmond's civic, economic, and artistic quality of life. Uh, this season opens on June 12th with A Midsummer Night's Dream, closes on June 28th with A Midsummer Night's Dream, and runs A Midsummer Night's Dream and Titus Andronicus in repertory, uh, with two shows every Saturday, one show Friday night, one show Sunday afternoon, and evening shows during the week. Every performance will be here in Earlham College's McDaniel Studio Theater in the Center for Visual and Performing Arts. Uh, tickets are available at richmondshakes.org and will range between $15 and $30. Every one of our performances is a fundraiser for a local charity or nonprofit, so ticket proceeds benefit them directly. Some of our most notable charities and nonprofits include the Boys and Girls Club of Wayne County, uh, Boy Scouts of America, Girl Scouts of America, Birth to Five, and Genesis. So this is sponsored by Earlham College, Indiana University East, uh, Wayne Bank and Trust, and First Bank of Richmond. Uh, major collaborators include faculty and students from Earlham College, uh, members of Richmond Civic Theater, um, and a set of professional mentor actors and designers that we've brought in from across the country. Uh, we have 15 Earlham student interns and half a dozen interns from other regional colleges and universities. We began planning this year's festival immediately after last year's. So what we're about to see in here uh, represents 12 months of continuous work by a board of directors comprising about 12 people. We have an entire dormitory here at Earlham full of people who are working with the festival and we have a about a dozen places outside of Earlham donating guest housing for our visiting artists. Uh, over the course of the year, uh, we brought in Lisa Volpa, uh, who was founder of the LA Women's Shakespeare Company and a noted Shakespearean in her own right, as well as about a dozen other guest artists to do work in and around Richmond and help train some of our local volunteers how to do some advanced theatrical work. Ten years from now, we want to be one of the best Shakespeare festivals in North America. We're not there yet, but you're going to see a production of Midsummer Night's Dream and a production of Titus Andronicus. They'll be so good, you'll want to lick them. Right? But even if you're not interested in theater, again, every one of our shows is a fundraiser for a local charity or nonprofit. Um, and so by coming here, you're helping us help those organizations build a better Richmond and elevate our artistic, civic, and economic quality of life. Right. On June 20th, we're also going to have a full day of entertainment with the Fisher's Fairies, um, a concert by Richmond Community Orchestra, as well as a performance of both A Midsummer Night's Dream and Titus Andronicus. So it'll be a festival atmosphere here outside McDaniel for the whole day. During every one of our shows, we have a kids area. So if you want to see Titus Andronicus, which is very violent, not really suitable for children, you can drop your kids off for kids activities for two hours, enjoy Titus, come back out and have a great family day the rest of the day.